This is a patient who came to our department with dysphagia, and we got an uh, esophagram to evaluate this. Uh, we can see pretty early on in the esophagram as we give uh, the barium that uh, there is an irregularity. And on the mid-esophagus, the wall of the esophagus is quite irregular. The mucosa looks very irregular over here as well. It's narrowed. And uh, the um, esophagus upstream from this region of uh, abnormality is quite distended. And as we scroll through all this, you know, this is sort of a show and tell case. We can see clearly that, you know, this is uh, a big mass in the esophagus and the mid esophagus. We see a small hiatal hernia as well with this. And, you know, this is a great look for uh, esophageal neoplasm, common ones being common, adenocarcinoma. Um, potentially squamous as well, but uh, that was certainly what was uh, the thought process here. This person happened to then get a CT scan to, uh, to evaluate this and, and to look for staging. We can see right up here there's some um, intraluminal uh, content that's trapped in the esophagus and the soft tissue mass starting in the mid-esophagus, expanding it, going all the way to the bottom, that small hiatal hernia we can see at the bottom there as well. We can see these findings really nicely on the coronal images, quite a long uh, segment neoplasm with um, with uh, soft tissue thickening and irregularity. This ended up being biopsy, and this indeed was an esophageal adenocarcinoma.